cam degrees, adjustable cam gears. For some people, that remains like a mystery. But today's video, I'm gonna explain to you how that works in an easy way. Remove your timing belt and camshaft. Okay, I'm gonna remove these ball springs using this special tool to install these test springs so I can measure the cam degrees. So stay with me. Place your special tool carefully and compress the ball springs. Place the test springs. Now put everything back together. Put the timing bell and make sure the timing marks are properly located. your piston stopper turn the crankshaft to both sides of the wheel have both numbers together divided by two and that's your true top the center when you turn the crankshaft to your true top the center reset the wheel to zero Make sure you remove your piston stopper. Valve clearance or valve adjustment has to be on zero. Now install your dial gauge. Now turn the engine until the camshaft reaches its maximum peak. Make sure when you zero the dial gauge, your camshaft is on the max peak. Turn the crankshaft to one side of the wheel until you see 40 thousands on the dial gauge. Now turn the crankshaft to the other side of the wheel until you see 40 thousands in the dial gauge. Now we adjust the cam gear. How you know you adjust it properly? If it passes the, the number of the pick lift is retarded. If it's before the number of the pick lift is advanced. Okay. 
after you adjust the cam gear, do the same process. Both sides of the wheel, three dozens on the dial gauge, and you should have the same big lift as the cam card shows. Now do the same process with the intake side. Install your dial gauge properly. Exhaust and intake is the same process, always confirm your numbers, follow the cam car space. Alright guys, uh, hopefully I helped somebody with this video, for more answers comment below, if you like this channel subscribe and share, see you in the next one.